Hello everyone, this is Sign Baran. I'm gonna do a new campaign playing with Rome at Europa Bar Rome Part 1. I know that there have been many such campaigns playing with Rome, but I don't think I saw one that was... ...full that was up to the end, in which the Roman Empire conquered the whole world. Um, I don't think there's someone to choose this, because this, I have to say, is a very, very long campaign, and it's going to take a lot of time. Not to mention that it has a lot of bugs, because this is an unfinished mod that, unfortunately, um, no one has worked upon in the last year. So it's just left behind, to say the least. Now, the development teams are working on Europa Barbarum 2, which has as uh, engine, as uh, main engine the medieval to total war so this mod has been less people left behind unfortunately although in my opinion i think it has a great potential and it's very very fun it's very very interesting because it's such a huge mod and such a complex mod you have a lot of units to recruit you have a lot of buildings to build a lot of bonuses there is this trade system that is very interesting you have a huge map and this is just very very interesting and also an enhanced and uh, a, a better graphics to say the least for the game so this way I want to go through, I'm not sure how far I'm going to go, because this is going to be a very, very long campaign, but I just want to go through with it, and I want to see how far can we can we make it with the Roman Empire. Now, I'm playing at medium difficulty on Battleland campaign, and yeah, let's see, it's, it's, it's not going to be that difficult, um, the campaign I just played before a little bit, but like I said, I was never able to go forward, because it was just a matter of, of time limit that I have. Um, I just conquered, uh, conquered Carthage and a few territories in the northern Italy, but that was it. And right now, like I said, I'm just going to try to make through. I'm going to try to make a um, long let's play on the, on YouTube, and let's see how this is going to work. This is going to be interesting. Like I said, there will be a lot of bugs and CTTs across, but I'm just going to try to go forward as much as I can. Up until one point in, in which it will not be playable anymore, of course. So let's go on uh, and let's start this campaign. First of all, I'm gonna address the situation here in different different regions, different towns and so on. Oh, as you have noticed, I will also use a very nice soundtrack. Soundtrack from Gladiator and other soundtracks that are very um, good matching to this campaign, I, I think, and to this period of time in which this campaign takes place. So I think you guys you should enjoy, if you have any suggestions and something like that, just leave a command and I'm gonna respond as much as I can, as quickly as I can. So, now let's address the situation, the tax situation in our towns. And actually, let's increase the, the tax wherever it is possible. Now, I know this is this can decrease population growth, but I don't really care because population anyway can increase. So, right now I just want to do this. Alright, good. And as far as I know, we have some enemies here. The Epi Roads, we should anyway take this an Italian town, a Roman town, so we should take it anyway, no matter what the approach thing or something. Uh, first of all, it's in our spy near the Epi Road border. And then, first of all, let's put this guy inside. And let's put some new troops here. When we have, yeah, but we still can put some new troops here. First of all, I'm gonna start with these cheap units because they are very easy to recruit, and we're gonna make the most of our armies. They are very efficient. If you don't play at very hard difficulty, these units are very efficient, especially at the beginning of the game, of course, because after that, it's gonna be, it's gonna be extremely. Um, extremely expensive. And let's start building some things such as, well, some, let's say, very cheap things. Cheap buildings. I'm gonna build this or I'm not gonna get this. I'm gonna build it. Let's build it here. This sanitization will be interesting. Right, and we have another spice in the northern because we're gonna have to. Yeah, right here. Right? Uh, this spy here because we're gonna we're gonna attack this towns one by one including the what's the name of them Edwin town and with this guy we should gain some support with the Greeks so let's send him first of all I I like to end the war with the Peros after we can take this town of course right so uh, we have another spy here that is 
Oh yes, now we have an eye on northern Carthage here, northern Tunisia. So the Carthaginians are right now our allies, but we will definitely make war with them once we can attack Assar, for example. We're gonna see that. Okay, so let's go on with the next turn and then let's see what's gonna happen. We should also... Yeah, that's enough. Let's go on. Okay, so now the Epeiros is trying to attack us. Um, frankly, and as far as I know, it's gonna be very easy to take them. So let's attack right now, actually. Um, directly attack. Although I know it's a little bit, you know, uh, dangerous. To speak. Right, so what can, wait a minute, they have two units, but doesn't matter. So let's send these guys here, and then I'm gonna send these guys back to the we should have a bigger army now. Although they have pretty strong troops here. Let's recruit some new troops, although we're gonna need more denarii. Let's see what can we build here. We can build something. Oh, sorry, useless buildings. The beginning of the game, of course, is very difficult to achieve something or build or to invest. You don't have any um, finances, but this is going to be better once you can advance the game. Well, let's build this thing here and maybe we put some new troops. Yes, in Rome. So these guys here. That's what can we recruit in Rome. Right. I should quickly have and build a huge army actually. Because we will really have to quickly take this rebellion town around us. This is very, very important. And then we're gonna attack the Edwi right there. And we're gonna expand even farther, of course. Your history is very interesting, but I'm not just gonna read it because it's a very long uh, story and I'm not gonna do it. So the Epirot will definitely attack. If, if they're not gonna attack, then perhaps we're gonna attack. Yeah, they will attack. So, yeah, so there is a very one-to-one -one balance ratio. Oh, we're gonna win. Let's see what they have. Some flank archers. And here, unfortunately, we cannot see what they have. But anyway, let's fight it. This was gonna come out of it. Right, so they're just gonna attack. Let's just see what's gonna happen. We have two cavalries. Including the general, so we should make a good use of this cavalry unit. Let's send it far to the right, because we're gonna use it to attack. I have to say the graphic is very impressive. I think I I don't I don't have maximum graphic settings, but for unit scale or unit graphic at least is maximum. Right, so I'm just gonna have a minute. Let's send these guys to the forward here. I also have some triage. This is gonna be easy. I think it's gonna be an easy fight for us. First of all, we should attack their archers with our cavalry as quickly as possible. In the meantime, we're gonna wipe off these two units, and this then is gonna be much easier. Wait a minute, they have arrived with their Tarantine cavalry, but it doesn't matter. They are already taking casualties because of my Ascensi. This is a cheap, quick cavalry as far as I know. We have already lost some, some men. 
and they are attacking with a general. This is a big mistake. Taking some characters, but doesn't matter. Whereas, what I should do is to attack with our cavalry and their archers because otherwise they're gonna attack us. And here they still have 45, but I think they're gonna take huge casualties right now. Or no one, because I think. Oh, another, another cavalry unit had arrived. Okay. I think they're gonna try to attack us from the rear. In the meantime, let's send our cavalry to deal with their archers. They can definitely take us from the rear, but there are already other units in moving very slowly. The general is losing a lot of troops in this archers. Oh my god, they have him now. Doesn't matter, this archer is gonna be wiped out. This is the most important thing. We didn't lose. We have lost no cavalry man. Gonna soon attack with this unit of classical hoplites, mercenary Greek classical hoplites. Now, a cavalry is rushing down to help them. So, maybe we should either attack them, although I think they're gonna destroy our cavalry if we're gonna attack them. And if we're gonna leave, no, too late. But I think I should give a, a try and come out to aid to this cavalry unit with our general. Yeah, so this Tarantine elite cavalry is much better than our co equities Romani. Like I said, wait a minute, we should actually send our Triari to help them. Although, I think it's gonna take a lot when they're gonna arrive. And in the meantime, we can attack this place. So. Alright, I don't think I don't think we're gonna save this guys and if we're gonna treat them then it's gonna be worse. Let's try to attack this cavalry. Let's attack them now before they're gonna attack us. Yeah they are attacking us. Doesn't matter. They're gonna fall anyway. Right. Yep, they have retreated. And this cavalry. No. It's not a good idea. So we should just take a break now. General is already retreating. Trying to even attack here. And here. Okay, because. Let's take with everything we've got. So let's see what their troops are doing. They have some Hellenic security measures there. We could in the meantime break this, guys. They still have some Tarantin cavalry and so on. How many do they have here? 20, we have 28. Yeah, I think it's gonna be neat that we should attack. So I should, should be ready. So I think this guys will just... Should flee, actually. Oh, see, this is gonna happen. Let's see what this guys are doing. Right, just they thought. Yeah, no. Let's try to attack from here. Let's break this cavalry once and for all. It seems that everything is over. They could use this Aquantis style, however. So the general is dead. Captain Milan. Give an attack here, although it's gonna be a little bit dangerous. Right, so the Contest will be encircled now by our cavalry. They still have some levy hoplites here fighting our study. Would be interesting if we could attack them also from the rear. Let's see if yeah, this possible. Yeah, we might have it. 
so the general should leave right now. Should leave now. Discovery is still back. This is unbelievable. We still have some huge forces here. And doesn't matter, we're gonna destroy them anyway. Yeah, let's bring this guy a little bit closer. Yeah, we should go and take them from the Pebbler Cavalry. We would have great advantage. Yeah, let's just wait a little bit. Alright, these guys are attacked. It's good. Which is what's gonna happen next. Let's attack there. And then with the cavalry from the rear. And here we're just gonna wait a little bit. Like I said, this shouldn't be a problematic win at all, but we'll see that. Like I said, they still have this carry, but which is, I think, soon will be broken. Let's focus here. Let's send this guy a little bit far away. We're gonna try to take this guy's Someone's firing, I think it's their cavalry, yeah, so they still have some missiles. Oh, they also have this accounted stuff, whatever, doesn't matter. Great, so now we can take them from the rear and completely break them. And we're also having this triari here. Let's take them from the rear as well. Okay, I have to be careful with our general. Right there, bro, perfect. And attack here. And then it's here. As well as here soon. Right, and there ha they have another general, right? Where is he? Right here. Oh, he's broken. Yeah, he's broken. That's right. So, let's see. Actually, they have. They have uh, switched their, their phalanx, but it doesn't matter because they're gonna be butchered anyway. Because they, they are levy phalanx, this is not elite levy phalanx. So that should be easy. It's already done. So we have lost a minimal number of men. They have lost their entire So this is gonna be very easy to take the town there. Oh, they still have some troops there. And if, if I'm gonna leave, let, let them, they're gonna bring more troops from the mainland. Paris is a very important town. This should be taken. It's without question. Without question. Now I'm gonna attack it again. And I'm gonna give it an auto resolve battle because I'm 100% sure they're gonna win it. Although we have lost an incredible number of troops. Right, so let's enslave them. We should yes, take some money and. The next town to attack will be this one here, which seems to be pretty big, but it's Roman traders, whatever. Now, let's see, we can do some things here. We can destroy some buildings because we can take work. We're not able to recruit any troops right now, so that's why we should destroy some buildings, such as. We should leave this sanctuary to Asclepius and other things. But for example, this abroad military control territory destroyed. There is this constitution century and armory, which is used only by the Greeks. So, just repair this buildings. And put these things. Update these troops, though this is gonna cost a lot, but doesn't matter. Then let's recruit some more troops from a row, for example. A row. Yep, you need to ships. Ah! 
Okay, so next turn, I can try to put up a new army. Now the Carthaginians have arrived with two units of elephants and other units. I'm not sure what they are trying to do. Most probably they're gonna attack here. Your honor. Right, we could get through with this spy, but actually this is not what I want to do right now. Because this is having all the text rate, it could increase a little bit. This is gonna be too much. Right, so let's go on with the campaign. Yeah, they just wanted to were prepared to send these troops, but it's too late for them, and hopefully they're gonna be without delay. Without delay. Is there capital maybe? Out of maybe not. Right, in the meantime, the Edri are recruiting more troops here because they need this. They need to defend this tent. Right, so let's go on. in winter and I just have the feeling that we're already having some money. And let's send some troops in the south because I really want to assemble a new army. And send it. Let's see here we can definitely increase. I just want to pick up an um, Italian regional government here. Yeah, let's just build it. Let's see, can we actually... That is good. Put in my tax rate. Can I recruit one here? Um, let's recruit some more units of this. As chance troops, which I know they are very poor, but like I said, they are very efficient. So, like I said, very soon we can attack region. But for that, for that we're gonna need a huge army. So at this point, yeah, there's maybe ceasefire and trade rights. This is gonna help. Yeah, that's why they're gonna accept it, just I thought, because I think they are at war with Greeks and Macedonians, and they are the protest forced to accept this. So that means that we could make alliance with Sparta in Athens and Macedonia, I think. It's just Can I be a four of this. So let's go to Macedonians. Oh, this is also a protest. They have just conquered Pella so quickly and so so soon in the game. Okay, this is gonna take off the time this building is gonna be built and yeah, population has increased very quickly there. Okay, let's see what else they have here. And this troops directly there. This troops here as well. Right, and this is gonna be the new army. I don't think they're gonna assign a general here. But. Right, this is gonna be enough. Although, frankly, it seems to be a very poor army, but it doesn't matter what kind of action it what do we have here? Some Astati. The French Fox. Yeah, this actually seemed to be a very poor army. In fact, I think it would be much useful if we're gonna also send some two more troops next turn and then we're gonna attack them. And we're gonna directly attack them because they have wooden walls, so it's not gonna be a problem. Take okay, can we build something? Of course. In the meantime, it's also prepare an army here, or to put an army here. But it's also gonna help. Let's build some roads. Let's see how much this is gonna bring in income. The income is anyway gonna increase a little bit. Just very few for the time being. But 
later in the game I think it's gonna increase a lot. Having a little bit more. Now let's get back here. Let's see if we can negotiate with these guys. Be sure. In the art war, but whatever. So give the map it. Yeah, they have accepted as they thought. Good. Now let's go to Greeks. It seems that yeah, they are only Greek states. It's sure. Okay, good. Now I think we gained everything we wanted from Greeks. Let's get back to Pella with this diplomat and let's see what's going on there. Question is, is if Macedonians will be able to regain some territory. Although I don't think so. I think that they have been always destroyed. This is what you have here. Uh, blocked lines. Macedonians. Right, so like I said, let's send two more troops here. And next time we're gonna go towards region we should take this as quickly as possible. In the meantime, let's prepare another force in the north, or perhaps in Rome, possibly gonna might have some reduction in troop recruiting while we don't. So we're just gonna wait a little bit. Now let's see the cup war. Can we build? Start with the command your honor great again oh my god look what units uh the approach they have indian elephants they also have this mercenary athletic make phalanx let's see here it's gonna take a lot of time anyway you should if this one is gonna be open. So we should increase our army very quickly and we should definitely attack in the north in one of those towns. In fact, I'm going to start with Suggesta. They are very well defended towns, not going to be easy to take them. This guy did a great job and they managed to arrive here. So next time we're gonna simply attack it because we have yeah, we have some cavalry, and yeah, it's not the best of modern that we have, but I'm sure that we're gonna make it. Should be easy. Right, now let's build something else. It's gonna be too expensive. Oh yes, I think this one... No, actually, let's build first of all this villa. And I gotta check later. This will be this unit of Triarians. They are also important. And soon we're gonna, we're gonna wage a new army in northern Italy and we're gonna be able to attack those barbarians. Barbarian Celtic tribes that were established in northern Italy.
Okay, let's skip this town, huh? Much. So two to one, but it's gonna be okay. Yeah, one hundred percent sure we're gonna take it. send our missile units to do the job we have a lot and this is an advantage that we have in this game because the computer cannot do anything about it so we should just send our guys not an attack then let's activate fire wheel for these guys let's put these guys in defense stance this equities romani unit also has some experience make it very strong. Okay, right. So, yeah, they are retreating just that. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I think we should take this as quickly as possible. Troops forward. But these guys already have fired wheel and here as well. Okay, good. And they are attacking with some Hastat. You're already in Hastat. They're gonna be. They're not gonna make it. It's gonna be easy. These guys are really efficient, this chameleon skirmish. Look at them, they are firing for such a huge distance. They also have enough supplies. I think they can also win some experience after they're gonna wipe out this study unit. We should get in the town very soon. They have already lost. How much? 20% of the troops. They are coming back, but they have no chance. Oh yes, they are also arriving with this rank archers and this community. Whatever, they are not going to have a chance. Alright, let's move forward with these guys and... ...sports this group then. Like I said, this is going to be a very easy victory because the computer is stupid enough to send these troops under the rain of my missile unit. So they're just going to lose a lot of their troops, that's for sure. This is just, I think, well, let's call it the bug. Well, it's not a bug, but it's a big mistake the computer makes that haven't been addressed or hasn't been addressed in the latest patch from Creative Assembly. And after that, no patch was followed because Creative Assembly was focused on new games and so on. So this is just an advantage that we can take in for almost each and every battle. Of course, this is not available for um, big cities and towns and castles with huge, with huge uh, walls, with huge stone walls, in which our troops are in this situation, for example, our troops would be wiped out. But there is another strategy to take those towns, and I'm gonna explain it. Of course, it's a very simple one, it's not that I'm gonna explain what it would be there. Now, let's invade, and let's don't waste time. Let's get in. Oh, my God. 
Oh, they are attacking all over the place, but it doesn't seem to have a chance. I'm gonna keep these guys out. Right, let's um, let's enter with these units. We're gonna send another unit here, and these guys that are gonna only try to advance here. This guy's gonna be Guys, I think we're gonna have a chance actually. Yeah, we go so they're gonna have a chance. This guy's yeah, we go. They just Surprise. No, they are. Someone is firing. Oh, I think there are archers. Or as chains. They have uh, one unit of chains and one unit of archers, as far as I know. Although. No, they have only this as chains that are firing. But it doesn't matter. Right, these guys are here. Good. Now let's send them back here. Getting closer to the town center. This guy's already retreating. It means that we could launch a huge attack on these levels. Or maybe not. Let's just wait. Here they come. So we're gonna just encircle them here. They have another unit of a study there and unit of principles right here, which is the general. Some Gorari left behind. And these guys are already free, so let's advance. This guy should be here warm up. A huge attack here. Oh, they also have a unit of archers. This is gonna be a little bit difficult, but. Oh, these guys are moving so fast. Now let's attack the general. Too late. Ah, the three are already in. The is already on attack, but he's doing a fine job here. These guys will flee very soon because they are archers. Someone is still firing, I'm not sure. Or they have retreated all day. But this is already would also end up battle against these archers. In fact, I should I should, could enter with cavalry, but it's not it. Actually, we could take them from the back, from the rear. Let's send this. Let's send this cavalry there. Let's do this. Someone is firing. Not sure. It's firing, but it's taking huge casualties. Although their troops are also being destroyed. Let's give a huge charge here. No, wait a minute, this is a mistake. Whatever, now let's send both of them. We do have enough triage, which is good. 
So we should arrive in here and take him from the rear. Get this guy also move a little bit forward. I just I thought they were gonna retreat. So the general is still fighting, but it's about to collapse very soon. Here. Now I'm gonna wait with my cavalry and I'm gonna attack them when they were actually attacked. So. Give another attack here. Well, these guys are tired, but it doesn't matter. Generally, the circle not very soon will fall. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. We're just. We're just outnumbered. Let's attack him with everything we've got. Just outnumbered. The sprint troopers are doing a wonderful job here. As well. Good. So these guys will attack. And most probably this unit will see, although they are principals, I think they should resist. So this guy is closer. This guy as well. And I think some of these guys will attack, I'm not sure what they are coming down here. I think they, they will just flee. If they will, yeah, they are firing already. to attack from the rear. I'm gonna have to be forced. I can't think that's right. That general is dead. Eighty-two men. Yeah, this is gonna be a big fight here. I'm just gonna have to be careful with my general. I'm gonna send one of them. It's still a good charge here. They have lost some men, but still doing fine. Oh, they have lost another 10 men. And yet another 10 men. So, time to launch a huge attack. No, they have absolutely no chance, they are completely annihilated by the cavalry. That's it, they are gone. That was actually easier than I thought. Actually, much easier than I thought. Some experience. 
Yes, some experience. I'm just gonna dispel some of them. Rome's good name resort, good. Now we have here an Epirot spy, doesn't matter. So let's see what can we do and destroy here. So first of all, we cannot recruit. Oh yes, actually we can recruit here because this is, was a Roman territory. So what do we have here? Western Greek, which is used by Romani, and this one too. No, this one is used by Conan and Epiros. Yeah, this one is okay, but this one is not one we can need, so we'll destroy it. We have a side in the manager, which is also good. Let's repair this. Let's build regional pacification first of all. This spy is gonna stay here because we just wanna have an eye on what's going on with these two rebel towns here. That will be soon taken out by Carthage. Good, so we have a huge army here. I'm gonna take most of it and I'm gonna bring it or send it to the north in order to build up a new army there. This guy, I think, will die soon. Right, so uh, we have now a little bit more money. Well, I'm gonna have to end the video here. Let's see what the mess we have. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, bye bye.